Hey pearls, it's Diana. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to rewind time and reminisce about when I had a very bad experience with Tom's deodorant. It's about six months later and my pits are back to normal and I'm going to show you and tell you how I got them back to normal. So stay tuned. So, to recap, if you have not seen the video, I will link it in the description box so that you can go back and see what actually happened to my armpits. But I am so happy to say that after diligent <laughs> and obsessive behavior, <laughs> I was able to get my armpits back to normal. So if you look now, they are back to my normal skin color. Excuse my bra, but let me get a little closer. Get y'all all up in there. I'm between waxes, so don't judge me if you see any little hairs, but they are back to normal. No more five shades darker. So I had a few people ask me what I did. Um, you know, people who I know on a, you know, and speak to on a daily basis wanted to know what happened after the fact so what I ended up doing and I guess this would kind of be like my armpit routine because some of this I do already but I figured I'd put it all into one video so my tips on lightening your armpits whether they were ruined by deodorant whether they're ruined by shaving or whatever the case may be your deodorant any deodorant can darken your armpits and irritate that skin so the first thing I decided to do was well before Tom's even ruined my pits so I threw away my razor and I just stopped ra uh, shaving altogether I switched to waxing so my pits weren't always the same color as the rest of my skin. Back when I was shaving, I had a lot of darkness, not as bad as the Toms, but enough to see a dark shadow underneath my pits that was different from the rest of my skin. So I, I read somewhere that it could be the razors doing that to you, so I decided to switch to waxing. And this was the best thing that I could have ever done for myself because my skin is extremely sensitive. So shaving caused me to get ingrowns, razor bumps, the darkness. It was just too much going on. I was very sensitive under my arms because of the razors. So I just stopped using razors, period. Uh, I've noticed that since waxing, my skin completely changed. I was It was the same color as the rest of my skin after just a few months of getting rid of the razor. Because when you wax, it does exfoliate your skin, pulls the hair from the root. Um, I've stopped getting ingrowns pretty much all together. I might have one or two randomly between waxes. but. I did see a huge change in the way my skin texture was, the way um, my skin remained after the facts, like, like I said, for razor bumps and things like that. I pretty much got rid of it. So I didn't have any issues before I switched to the Toms. So the next thing I would suggest you doing is exfoliating. I prefer to use um, a homemade scrub and I just take sugar like regular granulated sugar and mix it with different oils lately I've been using coconut oil I'll put a little um, what is it called <sighs> apricot kernel <laughs> oil or uh, rosehip oil in it because that's very moisturizing for your skin so I will just mix all that together and make a nice fluffy um, sugar scrub for myself and exfoliate my skin. I have dry skin. I battle with eczema. Um, I don't really battle with it anymore. Since I've changed my way of eating, I've noticed a big huge difference in my skin. I don't get as many eczema patches. I might have a rogue one that'll pop up here or there. But anyway, because of that, I've always used sugar scrubs. Sometimes I buy them, but I'm never really happy with the ones I get in the store. So I just make them myself and I exfoliate, exfoliate, exfoliate. 
I wouldn't do it every day because you're gonna <laughs> take your skin off. <laughs> but at least twice a week I exfoliate under my arms and that alone will help you get rid of any craziness going on under there. It will smooth out your skin under your arms. It will help to prevent ingrowns and things like that. So I highly suggest exfoliating. So the third thing, now, now we're getting into what I did to reverse the effects of the Tom's deodorant. Um, one of the things I did was I purchased, I had already purchased some vitamin C oil for my skin, you know, to help me with my blemishes and things like that. And the brand I used was Avalon Organics. Um, I got this stuff I was already using on my face and since I knew that uh, vitamin C is something that you can use if you're trying to reverse any discoloration, I started using it under my arms as well. I figured, I mean, it's safe for your face, it's safe to put under your arms. Uh, and I will link um, that down below if you would like to check that out. Um, but I started putting that on at uh, night before I went to bed just to give it some moisture and to help it, you know work and get the color back right <laughs> and I, I said before bed but it's usually like right after a shower I'll put it on so I'd skip deodorant that night and just put on the vitamin C oil sometimes I would also mix it with the apricot kernel oil or the rose hip oil and just let my armpits breathe and rest throughout the night and then I'll clean them up again in the morning and put on my deodorant. So, final thing, number four, is the deodorant. <laughs> the most important part of this whole equation. I switched deodorants. It took some, some uh, investigating and trial and error and trying out new things. Sorry, there's people walking around outside, so I was looking, but anyway. I finally found a deodorant that I love. So I switched to the Crystal Deodorant Rock. I don't know, maybe some of you have heard of Crystal Deodorant. It comes in different forms. There's the Rock, there's a Roll-On, there's a Spray, there's a little Travel Rock that's like formed into a deodorant. There's different ones you can choose from and you can find the one that works best for you. I actually own each. <laughs> <laughs> each version of the deodorant but out of all the versions my favorite one to use is the rock so it's just essentially a big old rock it looks like a crystal um, of salt and you just wet it under the water and you just go to town rubbing it under your arms make sure you get every nook and cranny and crevice and these salts will prevent you from smelling <laughs> and it's supposed to last for 24 hours um, and I find it to work perfectly fine now I told you in the last video I was going to no longer use anything that was going to prevent me from sweating sweating is good for your body so I don't want to prevent my body from doing that if I had to use an antiperspirant say I'm going to be at an event or something that's outside and it's really hot and I'm going to sweat and have those sweat rings <laughs> under my arms then maybe on that day I'll use some kind of antiperspirant but I would not make it a daily habit um, anymore that's just for a special very very rare occasion so I use a crystal deodorant it, it blocks any smell um, now if you're gonna be moving around all day in the heat you might want to bring something to freshen up. I know Pacifica has the deodorant wipes where you could just wipe under your arms and it freshens everything back up. And I'll just use the spray, the um, crystal deodorant spray, and I'll just touch up and spray under my arms, you know, get rid of any odor that might have started to accumulate. But it doesn't happen often. Um, the roll-on one I've used is well, I'm not as apt to reach for the roll-on or the spray as I am for the crystal. I feel like the roll-on and the spray don't work as well. It, it would seem like they do, but I just don't, I, I don't prefer the other two. I prefer the rock and I also bought the little um, travel size one to keep in my luggage so that I don't have to worry about bringing the big rock back and forth whenever I go out of town. So. Deodorant was a huge thing. 
Um, I decided to switch to an all-natural deodorant that wasn't putting any toxins in my body, no aluminum, no things to block my sweat glands. I don't want none of that. I just want you to take care of the smell. And it works and I love it. I will also link all of those down in the description box below if you would like to try the crystal deodorant. I'm not sponsored by them, but you know, if they, <laughs> you didn't, they don't really need to be sponsored by them or get anything for free because the rock alone lasts up to a year. And it actually might last longer than a year. I've had it for about six months now. I got it not too long after the whole beginning of the fiasco and I don't even look like I put a dent in it. So um, I will gladly vouch for Crystal Deodorant. I know some other YouTubers who use the brand as well and I highly, highly recommend it if you're looking for an all natural deodorant that you would like to switch to. So that <laughs> In a very short amount of time, I didn't think I'd finish this video so quickly, but that is what I did to get my pits back to normal, and I'm so happy. Ignore my bra, but I'm so happy um, that they're back to normal and the whole Tom's thing I can put behind me and move on with me and my happy armpit. So I hope this video helped you guys. I hope you will definitely try some of the items that I mentioned in this video. Um, if you would like any salt scrub or sugar scrub recipes, they're all over the internet. Just type them into YouTube. I'm probably not going to make <laughs> a video on how I make it because I literally just go online and find it from someone else. Um, and find you a good wax person to get the pits. Usually it's no more than 15 bucks and it's well worth it. Throw away the razor. Stop tearing up your skin with those things um, and if, even if you don't want to go out and find a wax person you can try I'm gonna try the sugar uh, waxing what is it called sugaring I've seen a lot of videos on it and I want to give it a shot and see how I like it so maybe potentially I could just make my own moving forward instead of purchasing wax um, but yeah so I guess that's it <laughs> <laughs> that is the end of my armpit saga. Like I said, I hope this video helped you. Let me know if you use any of the products below and what you think of them. And once again, thank you so much for joining me on my channel. I can't wait to talk to you guys next time. Enjoy your day. Bye.